Hey, yo, are you ready to see some elite level goalie gameplay? Because if so, you're in the wrong spot. We're here. We're live. We're not actually live. This video will probably be coming out pretty long after I recorded this, actually. But regardless, we are here performing some Be A Professional on National Hockey League 23. I honestly didn't remember where I left off because I did a bulk recording and this is my first time recording this in probably a week and a bit now, but 16, 11 and 0 isn't bad. And then I look at our stats, a 9, 16, 252 with a 12, 8, no record. Not too bad. So on that note, let's work our way through another third of the season and see how we do. Our first matchup is against the 9, 13 and 1. Detroit Red Wings. First period, we take that all day. 2-1. They only have seven shots. Rough go. But it's alright, because we're gonna bounce back. Oh, yeah. This is not worth jumping into. I'm just gonna simulate it, but- Oh, my word! I feel so bad for Casa. Yeah, he was in net the whole game. They just straight up never pulled him. That is brutal. Fire whoever Detroit's coach is. They just Patrick Wad him. Cheeky little five goal night for Jack Eichel. That's what I'm talking about. That's how I want to start off a be a pro. The 11, 14, and 1 Dallas Stars will result in a 2 nothing lead after 1. They got Poirier in net. Is that a real goalie or is it a generated one? Could probably be real. We're still very early on, but I guess equally has the possibility of being generated. Second period. Okay. We are killing it. And wow, I don't know what's going on today, but I am absolutely here for it. So I guess we did get the starting role, eh? We must have, because we are starting a lot of... No way, did I get it? I'll keep the good work going, but did we get it? Or no? Maybe not? Is Pretzel even good? Kind of sounds like it'd be good, you know? You just like contort and whatnot to make some dramatic saves. Oh my days, we did get it. What does it do? Let's see. Exceptional save, range recovery, and ability in- oh. Okay. Okay! Can I afford any perks that allow me the possibility to add another X Factor? Hmm, okay. We are not even close to that. Well, actually, we're a third of the way there. Alright, so that would give us plus one. That gives us a trait point. Yeah, I feel like we're probably gonna have to save up a little bit longer. And I think I remember going over this in the last video as well. So yeah, we're, we're almost there, very close. I wanna try getting one of the two X Factor things though, because we have two more that we can add. An art advisor, oh, that's a good one. All right, I'm gonna save up for an art advisor. Actually, you know what? On second thought, I think I'm gonna save up for a private island. What is, why do you need plus six X Factor points? Does this not do what I think it does or do you need more than one X Factor point to unlock a slot. I don't know how it works. I don't think I've ever done that. Anywho, let's continue our insane gameplay, shall we? We got the Winnipeg Jets here. Nil-nil after one. Two-one Jets. Okay. So this is a good one to jump into. They got Steven somehow. Don't know how they meant. Well, we have Nathan McKinnon and Patrick Kane, so, you know, I shouldn't really be saying anything. You know what? I've about had it with home and away jerseys. We're going RVB today. Red versus blue. I like the momentum already. Oh, okay. Thought that he was going to have his career ended there because he made it way more dramatic than it was. Ehlers, he'll probably be healthy by the time this video comes out, but that guy has been injured for a majority of the season so far. I took him somewhat early in fantasy. Like, not super early. Not concerningly early, you know? But either way... He's been sitting on IR, so rest up, buddy. Hope you're feeling better soon. But, uh, yeah, it'd be very cool if you came back in the near future. Pionk goes to Ehlers, who... That's not even a contest. Come on. Give me a... Ch Actually, don't give me a challenge. Never mind. Keep doing that. Connor Bedard is second in the league for points right now. All right. Well, then. He is developing very quick, unlike the career simulation that I did for one Connor Bedard. I'm also trying to recall, but I feel like we did start to turn up the offense in the actual game. You know, like I know the simulation team, we've been lighting the lamp, especially in this video, but I remember that we couldn't score at all in the actual game. I think that's changed now, hopefully. Let's go Stone. Yeah, ooh, I like it. It was a good try. Perfetti is there to take it though, and he almost sets up Connor for an absolute train wreck, but I think he managed to avoid it. Pionk has got it, and he's walking. Look at- Oh! Wow! Wow, what a hit. That was absolutely brutal, and now we're going to. Fire me up. The whole- I can't see. Guys, I can't see! Guys! Oh, okay. That's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Did not know that the camera swap thing worked here as well. 
So you learn something new every day. Get out of here, Connor. Imagine if I had to fight the whole thing blind. There'd be no way I'd win. Just be spamming buttons, essentially. Okay. So, you know what? I'm beating this guy so bad. Let's, let's not see what's going on there. <laughs> Never mind. Got too cocky. All right. And see you later. What's going on over here? Well, at least we went one for one. That right there is a phenomenal thumbnail. If that doesn't get the boys fired up, I don't know what will. They're a lost cause. That would have been an elite play by Carrier right there. If he got that pass off, would not have seen that coming whatsoever. But thankfully, the Golden Knights defense was there. And they did read it, unlike me. Ooh, Hellebuck was stuck. If we took the shot there, probably would have went in. But we didn't. Hellebuck got stuck in the save animation, which is what happened to me relatively recently. Eichel. Oh, nice try. Orlov starting out now in the jet zone. He's going for an E2E. No, he's not. He gets it over to Lemieux, who does a toe drag. What's going on here? What's up? Ah! Tried to smother it again. Didn't let me, but it is what it is. Spurgeon gets knocked off by Lemieux. Arvidsson. Nice. He cut back and still managed to make the pass. Spurgeon will get rocked along the boards, but... Take the hit to make the play. We are in the zone. Theodore goes to T1 up, but two Jets decided that they were going to throw themselves in front of that. And now here comes one of them. Lind loses it. Come on, boys. Let's get a goal. Okay. I didn't think they were actually going to do it, but they, they did it. They scored a goal. We're all tied up here. Probably about halfway through the third period, I would think. I haven't really looked at the clock recently, but I'm pretty sure it was about halfway. Eh, close enough. Also... What an absolute bullet by Andrew Kopp. That was a dirty goal. Nathan. Nathan! Ooh, okay. I don't know if he saw the guy crash in the net or not. Could have gave Hattrick Kane the pass of a lifetime. But he also kind of got hit. So maybe that foiled his plans a little bit. Could have got away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Stone goes for a shot. Hella buck. We'll meet that challenge, however. All right, 8.30 to go. And I love the way we're playing right now. Let's keep it up here. Big draw win, Carlson. Nope. Okay, that's cool too. Woo! Just missed the net on the glove side. And now Stamkos and Ehlers down there, but Ehlers, wow. We have seen a ton of massive hits in this game, and I love it. This game has been phenomenal. We had two fights happening simultaneously, a lot of massive hits. Goalies are both playing good, which is good for me. Another big hit, and it looks like Kyle Connor might be injured. Will he stay on the ice? He does. So he was just a little shaken up. But that was another massive hit. We are bringing back the physicality. Good job, guys. Save that. And we will get possession of it. But will we get it out? No, we will not. Cop is absolutely on one right now. Guy is playing with intensity. He wants this dub. And I appreciate that very much. Ooh. That shot just went wide. Ah! Don't cough it up right in front of the net. What are you doing, Jabroni? Stone goes up the boards and Eichel almost pulled off. An incredible deke. If he got by his man there, could have had an easy two-on-one. And the AI don't really handle two-on-ones very well, so it probably wouldn't have amounted to much. But still would have been sick, regardless. Here comes Goudreau, who also gets rocked. I'll save that. I was debating on passing it out. I am currently holding the pass button, but I did not let go. <laughs> Orlov's shot! Okay! I thought I saved the rebound, but I assure you, I did not. Well, that sucks. Let's take a little replay here of what happened. Orlov tees one up. Yep, kicked that aside. And then I... Oh, dude, that's just unfortunate. I don't even think I played that wrong. I did kind of get stuck in the save animation from that kick aside. Slid across. And then he just... Yep, just perfect placement. Can't be upset about that one. That's just a good hockey goal. But we still got 45 seconds left here. To tie this bad boy up once more. Ehlers is in. Stops up at the hash marks. Goes in the middle. Ah! No? Smother it? Yes, please. 38 seconds now. Draw in our zone. Let's try to get some momentum up ice here. One last rush. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have an overtime. But probably not. All right, I'm going to come get that. And I don't like this. There you go. What is Patrick Kane doing? <laughs> He's just sitting there spinning in circles. Not wanting to accept my pass. That is very sus of you. Patrick Kane, nice try, Nate. Six seconds to go. The fans are counting it down for a mid-regular season game. I respect it. Another massive hit to end it. 
That's all right. I'm not upset about that game. I think we still play good. Wow, I lose one game and you don't start me. Eh? Yeah, that's what you get. Another L. 17, 12, and three Edmonton Oilers. Here we go. First period. All right. That's, that's okay. Second. I'll just sim it. All right. 3-1. Not the end of the world. They had 28 shots, which... Is not a 900, but it's close enough. It's amazing how just one or two losses can make your record look way worse. But we have the Ducks here. Hopefully we can bounce back. That's a great way to come out in the first period. Okay, let's go. We're back on track. The kids are here. They did get two goals in the third, but 29 shots. Again, we're very close to that 900. The LA Knights, 12, 13. The LA Knights, I cannot believe I just said that. Honestly, though. Kind of fits. I kind of like it. Second period against the LA Kings. And we have a 1-0 lead. Yeah, we can jump in. Gustav's Goldobin. He's up there, that's for sure. But let's see if he can score on Timothy Jimothy. He can. A 1-0 game. So this has been a defensive duel up until this third period. Let's see if it remains that way. Or if now that I'm here, it's going to turn into a shootout. <laughs> that could happen. But we will wait and see. Only time will tell at this point. Sean Dursey gets it over to Byfield. They manage to keep it in. Goes down low to Fiala. And that will come into the possession of Petrangelo, who makes a phenomenal breakout pass. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Good effort. What a play. Holy. That save was immaculate. Are we headed to the... We are headed to the power play. Very nice. Make your way to me. Make your way to me. What a rat play. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Thank you. And I'll go around the boards to Carlson. That is a lovely breakout. Remember when I said we got to practice that? Clearly they listened. I just got the puck behind the net and I heard one of the audibles yell out, cover it. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so funny. Kind of reminds me of people at a game just yelling, shoot. What a save again. There's a very tiny speck of times where yelling shoot or yelling at your squad to shoot is very valid but a lot of other times they are professional hockey players they know what they're doing a lot more than you do nice pass Ooh, okay we're getting some great chances here our offense has been very good but yeah their goalie standing on his head at the moment keeping the la knights the la kings in it fiala gets a shot off that will be steered aside. Now Turcotte behind the net. Bounced it off the back of the net there. I don't think that was meant to happen. But it did nonetheless. And the smother actually worked for once. What a miraculous event. We have another power play here. A minute to go. The passing is... Did I just... Hold on. Did I just see what I think I saw? I need an instant replay to confirm my suspicions. Because I think I just saw a man flying. Was it Patrick Kane? Okay. Oh, oh my word. I have never seen that before. His career's over. There's no way you can continue after that. Holy crap, man. What the heck? Yeah, he's broken. And look at he speared him right to the groin too. Referee, send him off. I'm really sad, you know. I was looking forward to using that fighting thumbnail, but I can't anymore. This has to be the new thumbnail. He went fly. He's literally a bird. <laughs> I don't know why I find this so funny, but just the way he goes flying off screen, he gets dropped and see ya. <laughs> the fact that Eights is standing right now is... No way. That's a goal. That's a goal. What do you mean no goal? Did you see what they did to my boy Patrick? That's a goal, referee. If anyone's gonna stumble across one of my BF Pro videos for the first time, I hope this is the one. Because there's just a lot going on. Ooh. Another brutal hit. It seems like it's like a per video basis, you know? It's not spread out evenly at all. It's one video, tons of physicality. And then the next one, everyone's afraid to hit all of a sudden. A minute to go, we're still up 1-0. And honestly, I haven't really gotten many shots against. That's one of the first ones in a while. They've pulled their netminder. And we managed to get the puck right in front of the net. Stone, hit the empty net. Or chill with it. And lose it to Byfield. Get a net, get a net, get a net, get a net. Oh, okay. That was scary. Skate. Yes. There's no way Kane misses that. But there is a way that Dursey stops it. Here come the Kings again. 14 seconds left. Oh, my days. This is terrifying. Please. 
Spurgeon, what are you doing? You had so many chances to get it out. Yes? That's got to be game. That's game. What a phenomenal performance from Timothy Jimothy. Own the crease. You're darn right I did. 29 save goose egg. Yeah, that's all right, I guess. I mean, we don't not take those. You know what I'm saying? So quick maths tells me we're only at 35 games. And... We need to be at a whole lot more than that. We should be ending at about 54, which I think is just shy of the trade deadline. So I'm going to sim up to this Calgary game and we'll see where we sit at that point. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? What's going on? Looks like a fan of the Golden Knights just won a large poster. Okay, I've only done this about, I don't know, eight or nine times. I love how he's just my hype man. Like I finish a sentence and he's like, yes, all right. You know, it feels like I'm in the studio just absolutely destroying a beat. And this guy is here for it. Timothy Jimothy, baby. Our division's actually pretty tight this year. So it's a good thing we're very good at hockey. Ooh wee, look at those jerseys. I really need the new reverse retros in this game ASAP. That's three games in a row that I didn't start. And my lineup status is active. So, what? four! What's going on here, guys? Am I all of a sudden demoted to back up with those numbers up in the upper right? I'm getting out of here. This is absolutely just irresponsible from the team's management. We are finally in against the Columbus Blue Jackets, but I will be ending it there. We're 36, 18, and 3. The trade deadline, we might have passed it, actually, with all of those games I wasn't in for. Nope, not even close. So never mind. That will be the next video. Trade deadline and finishing the year. We are definitely on pace to be in the playoffs. We are third in the league at the moment with 36 Ws and still a few games before the deadline. We're looking very talented. I've got almost 900k in the bank saved up, but I believe the one that I wanted was like 1.2. So we have to wait a little bit longer, but it's okay. All right, no worries. The Golden Knights are currently set second in the division. Kraken having themselves a season. 37, 15, and 5. They are doing phenomenal. The Tampa Bay Lightning also have 79 points, except they did it in 56 games. They have the same row, so I'm not sure what it comes down to after that. Maybe point percentage or something? Don't know. But the Golden Knights are in third. What a beautiful sight. Patrick Kane has 73 points in 57 games. Is that good? I think that's good. Nate Mack has 68 in 57. Eichel's got 60. Stone has 56 in 53, so he's also lighting the lamp. So is Petrangelo. Holy smokes, guys. Jimothy has a record of 26, 11, and 0 with five shutouts and a 929. Robin Leonard is doing okay, I guess. 10, 7, and 3 with a shutout and a 911. Kane's actually leading the league right now with 73. ADB has 71, so he's up there and he's only played 53 games. So he's actually on better pace than Kane, but hopefully we can pull ahead and win the Art Ross this year. That would be fire. Wow, what an episode. That was just full of action. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that because I sure did. I'll tell you that for free. But thank you so much for watching. I still am in shock that Patrick Kane is playing because he should be done for a career, you know? Like, he should maybe reevaluate his profession and he's still there. So that shows dedication. That shows heart. We're winning the cup. But yeah, thank you for watching again. I appreciate you. I will see you soon.